Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about energy versus volume. Now, not volume on your amplifier or preamp, but volume in terms of size of your room, how much it can hold, how much energy it can hold. Now, volume in terms of the knob on your preamp uh, kind of is the same thing if you think about it, because we're going to put more pressure in the room when we turn the volume up on the knob and then we have the volume of the room so we have the volume of the knob and the volume of the room they kind of both work together and let's talk about that a little bit low frequency energy is long and wide here's what we have to realize look at 20 hertz 56 foot long probably half that high okay 30 hertz 38 foot long 40 28 50 23 so in order for full wa wavelengths to fit, you know, we need rooms that have certain proportions to them to allow this energy to kind of fit in the room. It never really fits, but it'll fit better in certain widths, heights, and lengths than other rooms. Frequency and amplitude issues vary with the volume and the room. The amplitude of the problem is directly related to volume of the room. So how much energy will fit into the room. A good way to think about your room is, think about it as a 16 ounce glass of water. And when you put two speakers in the room, you're almost automatically with the low frequency drivers, putting in about 24 ounces of fluid into a 16 ounce glass. Well, that eight ounces that's over the 16, it's gonna spill out, and that's distortion, room modes, reverberation times, a whole host of other issues, okay? So we wanna make sure that the amplitude or the strength of those issues, we choose ratios that minimize the strength of them because it's the strength that produces the amount of treatment that we have to have, okay? And what location it's gonna be. So example, we could have a 40 cycle problem on the length, we could have a 50 cycle problem on the width, you just never know. You have to look at the ratios and see what you're working with, okay? S certain room volumes hold different frequencies better. Obviously, the longer lengths work well for low frequency management, but it's the ratio of the width, height, and the length that's really critical. Uh, we, we've already talked about the water glass. We want to think about our glass, our room, it's having too much energy. So how do we do that? Well, we drop sponges and lower the water level of the glass. Because you're sitting in the, in the glass, let's call it. You're over here, okay, with your chair. And the water level is way above. You're going to have room modes. You're going to have distortion, all kinds of problems. So what we're going to do with the sponges, we're going to lower the water level so it gets below your ears. That's our goal. And we do that with treatment inside the room, okay? Rate and level is critical. You have to, anybody can build a box and stuff it full of building insulation and get down to 40 cycles. But the key is how much you get per square foot at that 40 cycles. If you fill a room all day long with building insulation, you won't get low enough or have enough treatment in there to impact it because the material type you're using just simply can't do it, okay? It's cheap but it doesn't work well, okay? So we need to have the proper rate and level. We must have enough surface area coverage. Low frequency problems are a nightmare, and we have to treat all the surface areas because it's usually all the surface areas in these small rooms that are producing the problem. It's very rarely localized just to width, length, or height. It's just a blend of everything all over again, okay? Diaphragmatic absorption, the most powerful of all, bar none. That's what we use. We use our carbon technology inside of it. We put our foam on the face. So you get a nice, powerful, low-frequency absorber, middle and high-frequency absorber. But most importantly, they're all working together, the carbon and the foam, to create the proper rate. And you can look at that on the About section of our website. Energy versus volume. Think about your room as a glass of water. And we have to lower that level so we can hear more. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. 
We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.